Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia from Alicia B Creative and today's tutorial is another pen tutorial. So I know I've done one on the channel before and that was during my eight days of Christmas series, but I thought I would do a new tutorial as I've had a lot of interest in having me do another tutorial that included using UV resin over regular epoxy. So we're going to do a brand new pen design tutorial here, and we're gonna be using UV resin as opposed to using regular epoxy to seal our pens. So of course, everything I use in today's tutorial will be listed and linked down in the description box down below. Check that description box out for discount codes as well as links to all of my social media, and of course my Facebook group, Alicia B Creative Community. So before you go, so make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you're notified when I post my video every Tuesday and Saturday. So let's go ahead and jump right into some glitter and UV resin pens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I am just grabbing some of the pens that I'm going to be using today. These are the Inkjoy gel pens. These are the Papermate brand. And I'm just gonna start by removing all the inner contents of these pens and putting them in my little jewelry caddy. Um, I think it's actually a technically a fishing bait box. <laughs> I got it off Amazon, super inexpensive, but it's perfect for holding all the little charms that I like to use on pens and the contents of my pen so I don't lose any of the pieces. And so now that I kind of have those all all d disassembled I'm going to now be removing the little clips off of the edge of the pens so I just simply twist those off until they come loose and completely off of the pen and then once I've done that I'm now going to take these to sand so I'm going to be using my little nail file tool that I've been using a lot lately it is definitely my favorite thing to use I just love how easy and simple it is to use this to sand like the top rims of my tumblers and so I also love to use these for this for when I am using pens because it's perfect and the perfect size to be able to sand off the little edge that the pen uh, attachment where the clip is um, because usually there's a little bit of like raised plastic and things that I want to be completely smooth So I'm also going to do a little bit of a rough sand with my nail file tool all the way around the pen And this is just going to scuff up the surface We're kind of treating this just like it was as if it's a little tiny tumbler if you will So we're doing all the same prep work that I would for a tumbler. We're just treating these as such so once I get those all nice and cleaned up, I've sanded all of any rough edges that I may have on any of my pens and really just scuffed up the surface. I'm then going to be taking some 91% alcohol and a coffee filter to clean up all of my pens. So obviously we want to remove all the debris off my pens and make sure that I have a nice, smooth, clean surface to work with, similarly to what we do when we're using a stainless steel tumbler. And so I'm just going to take this... Uh, I'm just going to take this coffee filter and get these all cleaned off and then we'll be able to get these onto my little dowels and attachments. So the little dowels and the kind of pen holder that I have there, I purchased these all from True Quality Designs. They had a discount on all of their pen items and so I thought it was a great opportunity to jump on and purchase one of these because I did not have an attachment for my turner originally. I actually was just using a one of my cup arms with a pool noodle attached to it. So definitely a step up from what I first started. And so now that these are all on the dowels, I'm going to take these to spray paint them with a flat white spray paint. All right, so now that we have our pens nice and dry from our flat white spray paint, I am just going to get myself all ready here for applying our UV resin. So I have my UV lamp that I purchased off Amazon. It is a really high wattage of UV, which I absolutely love. Love. And then I have some new resin that I'm using, some new UV resin that I hadn't used before, but I'm really loving this resin with this lamp. I just really have had so much better results using UV resin with the change up in the resin as well as the lamp that I'm using. And I've noticed that I'm not having as many issues or any at all really with having my UV resin not cure fully. And typically I can tell that that is the case when you, after a few minutes under the lamp, you'll notice that your UV resin is still tacky to the touch and usually that means it's not cured. So with this lamp and this resin, 
I have not had any issues, knock on wood, and so I am loving it. So we're going to use UV resin to adhere our glitter to our pens, and so I'm just taking a little bit of UV resin on each pen, and just like I would with a tumbler, I want a really thin coat of UV resin on all four pens, maybe one to two drops on each of the pens, and making sure that I am covering the entire length of the pen, that I'm not missing any spots on my pen whatsoever, because of course we don't want a spot on our pen that has no glitter on it. We want everything to be nice and sparkly. So once I've gotten my thin layer of UV resin on my pens, I'm then going to go in and apply my glitter right over top of this UV resin. And so again, I have a super thin layer, so I don't really have to worry about my glitter slipping and sliding all over. I can apply the glitter to all four of my pens and then cure them one by one under my UV lamp without worrying about my glitter sort of sliding all over the place. So we're going to get into glittering our pens now. And so I chose these colors again based on the charms and things that I was able to find while I was shopping at Hobby Lobby. And I found some really cute floral charms from Amazon. And so that kind of is the inspiration behind the glitter colors that I chose. So the first pen that we have here is going to be a solid glitter, gold glitter pen. This is Goddess from Peachy Olive Glitters. It is the fine version of Athena, which is my favorite gold from Peachy Olive Glitters. And so we're going to have a completely gold colored pen here covered in Goddess. And I just love this gold glitter because it has so much sparkle and shine with all those holographic pieces. It's just absolutely beautiful. My second pen is going to be an ombre of Luna 2.0 from Glitter by Mama Boss on the bottom half of this tumbler, or bottom half of this pen. <laughs> Everything's a mini tumbler to me. Uh, on the bottom half of this pen, and then on the top half of this pen, we're going to go back in with Goddess. We have a gorgeous and classy gold and black pen. I'm just loving this combo here for sure. And once I have glittered that pen, we're going to move on to our third pen. And our third pen is going to be two colors. Again, another two color ombre. And this is going to be uh, 357 Magnum, a silver from Peachy Olive Glitter. A beautiful metallic silver on the bottom. And on the top half of this pen, we are going to do Frosted Tulip, which is a pink metallic glitter from Maisha Creations in one of her most recent uh, glitter subscription boxes. I love this metallic pink glitter. It's so pretty. It just really sparkles and it looked beautiful up against this silver. For our fourth and final pen, we're going in with another ombre, and that ombre is going to be the K on the bottom portion of this pen. The K is from Peachy Olive Glitters. I really love this purple. Purple is just, as I've told you guys, I think it's my new favorite color. And then at the top half of this, we're going in with Autumn Blues from My Asia Creations, which is another beautiful metallic blue that I just absolutely love. And these two colors just complemented each other so well. I just love the pink or the blue and purple vibes that I'm getting off of this pen. So once I have gotten that all applied and my glitter cleaned up, I then cured each of the pens under UV resin. But before doing so, I did take a piece of parchment paper and I just rolled all of my pens onto the parchment paper. And this is just going to help me really make sure my glitter is nice and flat. What I've noticed when applying UV resin to pens is if I take this extra step by making sure my glitter is flat, I won't have to use as much coats of UV resin to really seal in all of my glitter. So I definitely wanted to take this extra step before I let these all cure under my UV lamp for one to two minutes before going in with our coats over our glitter. And so literally right after we have cured that first layer of UV resin. We're going to go right over top with a thin layer of UV resin. Again, I've noticed that the best way to do UV resin on pens is to really treat it with just thin layers at a time. So the first time I did UV resin pens, it was not a great experience. I messed up quite a few and I think it was because of the thickness that I was trying to get on my pens. I really needed to remember that I needed thin layers on my pens and I didn't need to go in so heavy handed with all of the UV resin because I was getting a lot of unevenness, which was just causing a lot of sanding and that was not something I was about to do. So once I've gotten a thin layer of UV resin, I then just cure this under the lamp 
lamp for 120 seconds while turning it and then I did let it sit under the lamp for another 30 seconds while I put UV resin on the next pen. And so I'm going to give you a very sped up process of the rest of me doing these pens. So I did, I would say I did three coats, three thin coats of UV resin over top of each of the pens. And that was enough to make sure that all of my glitter was sealed in, that I had a nice smooth surface to work with, a very, very little, you know, any grit or glitter that I could feel. And so I knew that was good enough to be able to move on to sanding and then doing our final coat. So at this point I have three coats of UV resin on each of my pens and I'm just gonna remove them off the dowel so that I can do a little bit of sanding. So I'm taking a, I believe this is a 100 grit sanding block. I really didn't need a whole lot of sanding, which was great because I don't care for sanding. And so I just really needed to, again, scuff up the surface a little bit. I really wanted to pay attention to the top edge and the bottom edge of the pens, making sure there wasn't any sharp glitter pieces on either edge and to make sure that everything along the sides of the pen was nice and smooth. And so once I'm done with my light sanding that I'll do, I will take a little bit of 91% alcohol once again and I will uh, clean these up because again, we don't want any of that debris on our pens going into our final coats of UV resin. And so what I'm going to show you next is how I was able to kind of jimmy this system so that I could put my UV lamp over my pens for final coats and not have to hold each pen one by one under the UV lamp. Okay, so this was kind of the system that I did. So I have just like two cut boxes and I have my attachment on my turner that's my pen turner and literally what I did was I put those two boxes on either side of the pen turner put my thin layer of UV resin on each of the pens and then literally just put my UV lamp on top of these two boxes and I'm nearby and just literally clicked through that button probably three or four sessions of the 120 seconds and I just wanted to make sure that all of the pens were equal, equally cured and so I didn't have to adjust it because really this leaving it just like this it enough of the UV was getting on the top half of the pen and it was getting a lot of the UV rays on the, the kind of edges of the pen which is what I was most worried about. So I did about three to four 120 second sessions so every time it turned off I just would come by and push the button again. Um, I don't think that my lamp has a setting where you can like hold it and it does like a full five minutes so I just you know as it kind of went off I just went by and turned that back on. So I let that roll for the last two coats of UV resin and then now we're ready for our charms. All right, so I know I have a lot here in front of you and I'm gonna go through everything that I kind of have in front of me right now. So I have all of my pens. The only thing I've done is I have just put all of my attachments back inside the pen and I wanted to make sure that everything is going to click and be reassembled without any issues or any hiccups whatsoever. So. Once I have checked through all of that, I then just got out all of the charms that I'm going to be using to attach to these pens. And so the first ones that I have are these cute little bows that I got from Hobby Lobby. It came in a pack of like, I think there's like 25. They're silver and gold to choose from. And I don't even know what they're for exactly, but I happened to find them in like the bead section. And so I thought these would be perfect to add to my pens. I also found these little adhesive gems from the scrapbook section. And these are gonna go on my pink and blue pens. Um, so those I just found from Hobby Lobby. I also grabbed some little like they're like little floral charms. It's these really cute little floral charms that come on a little chain and so I just thought these would be so cute to have hanging off of the pens off the top of the pens and so I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach those pieces first. So I have these little like um, they're not called like eyelets but they're like the little attachments that you have for bracelets and I'll link them down in the description box. So I have a couple of these and I'm gonna go take these to spray paint them gold so that they match my charms. So now that I've just kind of sprayed those with a little bit of gold spray paint, I'm going to grab a medicine cup, a little silicone stick and uh, like eyeshadow brush and I'm going to grab a glove so that we can apply some UV resin to all of the charms that we're going to be attaching. So I'm going to put a little bit of UV resin in a medicine cup to use my little silicone um, 
my little silicone stick here to apply the different pieces onto the back of these charms. And so we're going to start with these little bracelet charms, which are actually going to be adhered to the very top of each of these pens. So I do have to remove all of the inner pieces of the pens once again. And this is just to make sure that I don't accidentally get any of the UV resin into in between that top clicking clicker that way obviously I want to be able to still click the pen so I just disassembled everything once again I'm going to put just a little bit of UV resin around the top of that little uh, bracelet charm thing attachment and then did a little bit of UV resin along the very top around the center hole of UV resin so that we could attach this. So once I've done that, I am going to place that little eyelet type jewelry piece on top, making sure that I still have enough room for my pieces to go inside my cup and or inside my pen. And then I'm going to take my UV lamp and I am going to be curing this. And so I figured I would just cure both of them at the same time. So I put the dowel back into my pen, set that on top of my little pen holder, and then decided to do the same thing with the other pen. That way I could cure them both at the same time. It just made more sense at that point to do it that way versus waiting um, and doing them separately. So again, same thing here, taking that little silicone tool and just putting a little bit of UV resin right along the top portion of that pen and then attaching and putting that little piece of jewelry on a top. And then I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to move them to the center here so that I can just cure both of these at the same time. And so it literally only took a few seconds, wasn't very long, and these were fully secured and I didn't have to worry about them coming um, off whatsoever. And then now we're going to be able to add all of the other pieces to and charms to our pen. So now we're just going to add these little extra, um, what do they call these? These just like the little, uh, attachments that you would for attaching keychains. Again, I'll have everything linked in the description box. And so I'm just going to take a little extra, uh, ring here, jump ring here and attach that to the little chain that has the floral at the bottom of it into the little hole that's on the side of this little jewelry piece that I've attached to the very top. So just using some uh, jewelry pliers to be able to secure and tighten those jump rings so that everything is nice and secure. And then that was literally all I needed to do to get this little cute floral like chain that I found off Amazon onto my pens here. And so now that I'm done with that, I'll be able to attach all of the inner pieces of the uh, pens back into there. And then we can finish everything off with any of the charms that are going to go on the outside of these pens. So after I've done kind of what is the harder part, if you will, I then just take a little bit of UV resin in the medicine cup, use my little silicone stick here to apply all of the different charms to the pen. So I just take the little charms, put a little bit of UV resin right on the back side of each of those charms. And then once I've done that, I will hold that piece in that charm on top of the pen and then place it under the UV lamp for about 30 to 60 seconds for each of the charms. And so I'm going to apologize first because for some reason my video did stop recording so it wasn't able to get all of the footage of me attaching every single piece but I hope that I was able to explain to you how exactly I put together all of these charms and put together these UV resin pens. As always please feel free to leave me any questions or comments down in the comment section. I love answering any of your questions and I want to make sure that I am giving you the most value out of all of my tutorials so definitely take advantage of asking me any questions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final results of these pens. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, definitely make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And definitely make sure you check out my previous pen tutorial that goes a little bit more in depth with doing pens. But of course, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section and I would be more than happy to answer your questions. So on that note, I will see you guys again next week for another Tumblr tutorial. Bye.